Hello everyone and welcome to the ninth episode of the Skyrim Ultimate Modding Guide and in this episode to round out our animals and creatures portion of the guide go ahead and start out by going to the video description the top of the video description and downloading Daedric Beasts, Winnegos and Howlers and then the Mikhail Monsters Minotaurs and the Graal, the Ice Troll Blood Moon Creature Restoration Project and the Harvesters, another one from Mikhail Monsters. All right, now double click to install the Wendigos and Howlers and number this 133 just beneath Simply Stronger Dragons and hit OK. It will be at the bottom of your list. Make sure to actually drag it beneath Simply Stronger Dragons. Now install Mikhail Monsters Minotaurs at number 134. Select OK and drag this one just beneath Wendigos and Howlers and then install Grawl the Ice Troll 4K at 135 and select OK. Drag this one just beneath Minotaurs and then install SSE port Harvesters, which is another Mikhail Monsters mod. Install this at number 136 and drag it just beneath Grawl the Ice Troll and then renumber Revenge of the Enemies to 137 and keep it at the bottom. Okay, and that rounds out our animals and creatures portion of this modding tutorial series. Uh, the reason I sometimes do a portion like that and then add a few on the next video is because um, I find new things after I've finished one video and decide they need to be in, or I haven't had a chance to test things yet, and then after some testing find that everything works well and um, decide to put it in there, or think of some things at the last minute. So I think we're good on all uh, animals and creatures. Unless you consider a vampire lord retexture part of that, and we're going to start there with the rest of this mod list. Now this is going to probably be a fairly lengthy video, so strap yourselves in. The next couple of videos actually are going to be pretty extensive, I think. So, continue going on down the list of links in the video description, and grab this vampire lord retextured. Then get this LH's HD face scars 2K updated. Then let's grab Enhanced Blood Textures Special Edition, the Stones of Berenzia Quest Markers, the Parthenax Dilemma, the Blacksmith Forge Waterfix Special Edition. Here make sure to get the Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition Patch Edition, it's the second main file. Then grab this optional Blacksmith Forge Waterfix Cutting Room Floor Patch. Now come over here to Even Better Quest Objectives and grab the main file v1.6.2. Now go to Gilder Green Regrown and grab the main file. Now grab Amazing Follower Tweaks and also get from the miscellaneous files the Dragonborn patch and the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. Now come over here to Relationship Dialogue Overhaul and grab the main file and also the Amazing Follower Tweaks patch and finally the Cutting Room Floor and unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. Now come over here to No More Glowing Weapons and download the main version. Now come over here to No Spinning Death Animation and get the top file, the non-merged version. Now go to Ordinator and download the Ordinator main file, v926. And also download the perk points at skill levels 50, 75, and 100. And Thief Skills Rebalance for Ordinator optional files. Now go and download Elemental Staff's Special Edition Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim version. Now go to Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim and download Apocalypse version 945 the main file, and also to stop and download the Apocalypse Ordinator compatibility patch. Now go to Ethereal Veins Magic Enhancements and download the version 17C main file all in one. Now go to Calling of the Conjurer and download the main file, there is only one. Now go to Elemental Destruction Magic Special Edition and download the main file, and then go to Elemental Destruction Magic Ordinator patch and download that file. Now download the Immersive Performance for Ordinator file, there is only one. Now download Skyrim New Master Spells, there is only one main file. Now go to the Shadow Spell Package and download the top file. Now go to Summer Mist Enchantments of Skyrim and download Summer Mist v305, the main file. Now go over to the Elder Scrolls Tomes Skyrim Magic Add-on and download the main file version 1.5.3. Now download the Fendrix Magic Evolved main file version 2.00. Now download Witch Hunter Spells and Prayers Pack Special Edition main file. Now download Forgotten Magic Redone, the one and only main file. Now download the Psychokinesis Spell main file. Now download Slow and Freeze Time Spells top file. Now download Visual Animated Enchants or VAE version 2. 
as well as the VAE Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition English Update. Now go to Invisibility and download the main file version 1.1. Now download Better Master Spells version 1.2 and download Visual Master Spells v1 and download Elemental Arrows by Fuma main file. Download Wards Act Like Shields Melee and Arrows version 1.0. Download Immersive Citizens AI Overhaul Special Edition main file version 039A. This might be newer by the time you get around to this series. That's fine. Just download the main all-in-one file. Download Simple Auto Unequip Ammo, the main file. Now download Violins, a Kill Move Mod Special Edition top file. Now download Weightless version 1.4. Now download Clean Menu, No Bethesda Logo and Smoke and Intro, optional, no sneak eye. Now here, download Clean Menu All-in-One 60 FPS, unless you still want Bethesda's Mods button, in which case get Clean Menu Alternative with Mods button. Download the one of your choice. Now grab Moro Loot Ultimate, the main file v1.2. Now in the Moro Loot Optional Files section, grab the Ars Metallica patch, the Immersive Armors patch, the Improved Closed Faced Helms patch, the Inigo patch, the Insanity Sorrow Weapons patch, the Lore Weapon Expansion patch, the Summer Mist Enchantments of Skyrim patch, the Unique Uniques patch, the Zim's Immersive Artifacts patch, the Wicco patch, and I think that's it. <laughs> it's a lot of patches. Now grab Ars Metallica, the main file, Smithing Enhancement 2.0.3. Now download Improved Closed Faced Helmets. Now get the ISC or Immersive Sounds Compendium and Moro Loot Ultimate Patch. Main file. Now download Immersive Sounds Compendium. Now go to Immersive Sounds Compendium Patches and download the Enhanced Blood Textures Patch. Now go to Frostfall Hypothermia Camping Survival and download the latest Special Edition release. Now go to Campfire Complete Camping System and download the top file, the 1.11 Special Edition release. Might be newer by the time you get to this tutorial series. That doesn't matter, just download the newest version. Now go to Smilodon Combat of Skyrim, and I probably am not pronouncing that right, but at any rate, let's download the top file, V200. And then I'm also going to get the Smilodon Realistic Damage optional file that greatly increases the damage dealt and taken to make the combat more fast-paced, brutal, and visceral. Now download I Need Food, Water, and Sleep v1.83. Now download Frozen Electrocuted Combustion, the top file. Now download Arrows and Bolts Tweaks Special Edition, the top file. Okay, now that we've got all the files in the video description downloaded, we can begin installing. But before we move on, I want to merge all of our monster mods we've recently installed into one. So the two Mihail, Dwarven Colossus, and Old Gods, along with the Wendigos and Howlers, Minotaurs, the Grawl, and the Harvesters all into one. So what we need to do basically, if you click on these in the left window, it'll highlight where the, where they are in your load order. That way, if you've got some strays way up here, I just want you to move them all down so that these are all on the bottom of your load order. So the Harvesters, the Grawl, the Minotaurs, the Wendigos and Howlers, and then the Old Gods of the Hunt and the Dwarven Colossus. Just click on them one at a time so that you can see them highlighted where they are in your load order and just move them all to the bottom so that when you click on these, you can see them highlighted all here on the bottom. And there should be seven files in total. The Mihail Centurion, the Minotaur, the Wendigo and Howler, the Growls on Soulsteam, the, I can't say, I can't talk anymore. I can't say these things properly. The Harvesters and the Prometheus Beast Skeletons and the Old Gods. So make sure those seven files, just get them at the bottom of your load order and then we're going to merge these. So go into SSE Edit, right click and select None and then tick these bottom seven files. So you should have seven files selected, Mihail's Centurion, Mihail's Minotaur, Wendigo and Howler, Growls on Solsteam, that's hard for me to say for some reason, Mihail's Harvesters, Prometheus Beast Skeletons, and Mihail's Old God. And so select those all and hit okay. 
Now left click and drag a box across them to highlight all of those ESPs. There should be seven. Right click and check for errors. Okay, and it appears we have some errors in Mihail's Centurion and in Mihail's Minotaur and in what else? In the Harvesters. So it, for now, I'm gonna check into these errors, but for now we don't wanna merge those until I figure that out. So basically, we can safely merge Wendigo and Howler, Growls on Soul Steam, and Prometheus Beast Skeletons and the Old God. So we're going to select only those. So Old God, Control Click, Beast Skeletons, Control Click, Growls on Soul Steam, Control click Wendigo and Howler. And let's just make sure we've got those four files selected. Let's right click and select check for errors. And none of those have any errors. So let's go ahead and merge those. Apply script, merge plugins V1.9, okay. And you should have just those four selected in the checkboxes here. Wendigo and Howler, Growls on Soulstein, Prometheus Beast Skeletons, and Mihail Old Gods. Um, and then I will sort of off screen in my own time, try to check into some of these errors. If any, if any of you are watching this and are really good with X edit, um, and know what any of this means and can help me out or wants to help me out, let me know. Otherwise I'll just do my own research in my own time and try to figure that out so we can merge them all. But for now we've got these four merged at least. So we're going to be, um, at least lightening our load order by a few ESPs. So select okay, and then create new file. And let's just call this um, MTH Monsters because it's the modded to hell series. So modded to hell monsters. And we'll just kind of merge all sort of uh, standalone monster creatures that we come across that we want to try and put in our game. We'll just, we can just merge them in here. So MTH Monsters and select OK. Now it kicked me out of SSE edit that happens sometimes, but it's still open. It's over here. Sometimes when it creates your merged ESP, it'll just like switch you back to mod organizer. So you just got to tab back over and let's go ahead and right click our new MTH monsters and check for errors. And you can see there are no errors there. Now let's go ahead and close out and we don't want to save anything but our new MTH monsters ESP. So deselect everything but that and select OK. Now we will have some files in our overwrite folder, specifically our new ESP MTH monsters. So right click the overwrite bar, select create mod and call this MTH monsters, hit okay or enter. And let's put this one at 137 and change revenge of the enemies to 138. I kind of want it to come after all of our monsters and creatures. So, and then move this right above revenge of the enemies and tick it off. And now you'll see it's at the bottom and that it has Winnego and Howler, Growls on Soulsteam, Beast Skeletons, and Old God all merged within it. So we don't need those anymore. So first I'm going to go to Old Gods of the Hunt, double click, go to Optional ESPs, and move Mihail Old God ESP to Optional ESPs and close and it should disappear from over here. Now I'm gonna to go to the Wendigos and Howlers, double click, optional ESPs, move Wendigo and Howler ESP to optional ESPs and close, and it should disappear from over here. Now I'm going to go to Beast Skeletons, which is 107, if you'll recall, go to optional ESPs and move Prometheus Beast Skeletons.esp to optional ESPs and close. Now I'm going to find the Growl Ice Troll 4K, double click, go to optional ESPs and move Growls on Soulsteam.esp to optional ESPs and close. So we've at least saved ourselves some ESPs there by merging those, but the Centurion, Minotaur, and uh, Harvesters all have errors. So I'm going to need to look into those in my own time off screen. And then if we can come back to that and merge those, I will. Um, if the problems are egregious enough that they're going to cause problems in our game, I'll look into that as well. And we might have to get rid of those entirely. I don't think we will. I've already actually jumped in the game and tested all these creatures and spawned them in um, actually by the dozens <laughs> and had a big war with all of them uh, fighting a dragon and everything seemed fine. So I don't think we'll have to get rid of those but I'm going to check into those errors and see if we can merge them because I really want to try to keep our load order down because we're going to need that load order down because we're really starting to get into it now. And we're only going to be ramping this, this thing up from here on out as far as downloading lots 
and lots of things. All right guys, so after loading all of those monster files into the creation kit and searching for errors and trying to resolve them, I haven't been able to resolve any. However, um, these two, the Harvesters and the Minotaur, the errors with them seem pretty innocuous, so I'm going to leave them. But the Dwarven Centurion one was a script-related error, and I generally just try to avoid script problems in my game. Uh, that kind of scares me a little bit. Maybe it shouldn't, uh, but I just don't really know what I'm getting into with scripts, and I kind of like to try to keep my game from being very script-heavy anyways, if possible, especially just something that adds one creature. So I went ahead and got rid of the Dwarven Centurion completely. But I am going to leave the Harvester and Minotaur mods and just probably not be able to merge them until such point as I figure out exactly what's wrong and how to resolve them. I might get them out of my game completely at some point, but like I said, I've spawned like dozens and dozens of them in and had them all warring with each other and had no problems. So I guess we'll see on that. I'm going to leave them in for now um, and then I will do some research in my own time and see if I can figure out the problems with them and how to resolve them. In the meantime, you guys can leave them in or not. It's up to you. But the ones that we've already merged in the previous step should be fine to leave in there because we already checked those for errors. There were no errors. So if you want to just leave those our merged ESP, our MTH monsters ESP, and the files associated with them and get rid of the Harvester and the Minotaur, I would understand. That's completely up to you guys. I'm going to leave them though for now and then do some research in my own time into that. And if you guys, I'll update you guys whether you decide to keep them or not on what I find out if I, if I discover any more about these and how to resolve their problems. But for now, let's move on to the other downloads and install them one at a time in the order in which they were downloaded. Now you'll see I've got some here above the first thing we started with, but just don't worry about those. Those are th some things I'm messing with that um, I will talk about later potentially. Let's start with the Vampire Lord Retextured. Remember this 139 and hit OK. Moving on to LH's HD Face Scars, both sex, 2K. Let's title this one 140, and this was one that I actually wanted to do when we were doing all the character makeovers and the brows and hairs and all of that, but just completely forgot about until I saw it browsing the Nexus yesterday, and I was like, oh yeah, but that's, so that's fine, we'll just we'll put it in there now. Okay, moving on to Enhanced Blood Textures, and hopefully this still contains the Brawl Bug Fix, the most recent version of the Brawl Bugs Fix. And let's call this one 141, Enhanced Blood Textures. Blood size optionals, I'm going to leave on none, so it'll be the standard. And then on effects distance, I'm going to leave on long. And then on screens and wounds, I'm going to leave this all default. So I, I want the screen blood, and I don't want the wound size reduced. So I'm just going to hit next on that. Now on the resolution and color, I'm going to leave this on high res default color. You guys might find with your particular EMB, depending on what you're using, that you might want something a little darker, a little brighter, usually a little darker when you have an EMB because it tends to brighten up the blood. But I find that with the one I'm using, and therefore probably the one that you guys are going to be using, that the high res default color is fine. And then I like the blurry screen blood. I hate the really crisp screen blood because it's like if it was on your face, it wouldn't be crisp. It would have a depth of field effect where you would be looking past it essentially if blood splattered up into your face so I like to put I like the blurry screen blood option there that's up to you guys though that's completely subjective preference now hit next on alternative blood textures I just leave this set to none you guys can go through there and see if you like one better or not but I'm going to leave mine on none and hit install now I'm not saying it just because it gets repetitive but just so you guys know I am taking the check boxes on all of these after I install them so moving on Berenzia quest markers SSE let's name this one 142 space and hit OK now, the Parthenax Dilemma, let's go ahead and double click that and name this one to 143, 143, and select OK. Now, let's install the Blacksmith Forge Water Fix Special Edition, and we'll title this one 144, hit space and OK. Now, the Blacksmith Water Forge Fix Cutting Room Floor Patch, that's a mouthful. Let's drag this one out and call this, oh, it thinks we're trying to install the same thing again, so you need to hit the drop down and Instead of BFWF cutting room floor patch, let's name it as the other one is. So first of all, 145 Blacksmith Forge Water Fix cutting room floor patch. I know that's a long title, but I want to remember exactly what these are if I have to go back. Now let's install even better quest objectives. Double click and let's drag this out to expand it. And let's call this one 146 space 
and hit next. Let's select the Dark Brotherhood Forever 2 Miscellaneous Quests add-on. And then on patches, we have Alternate Start, Live Another Life, Cutting Room Floor, Parthenax Dilemma. We want those, but we also want Book Covers Skyrim because we are going to download Book Covers Skyrim in a bit. So all of those patches we need, now hit install. Moving on to Gilder Green Regrown. Let's name this one 147. Space and hit OK. No installer there, just tick the checkbox and move on to Amazing Follower Tweaks. Number this one 148, space, and hit OK. Now let's select the Amazing Follower Tweaks Dragonborn patch. Actually, let's do the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch first, since that comes first in the load order. Click the drop down to select AFT USEP patch, but let's actually fully title this Amazing Follower Tweaks. And I don't really need this to say beta one. It'll tell me what version it is right here in mod, in mod organizer under the version column. So I'm just gonna get rid of that and put before this 149 space. And then I need to find the data directory, which is right here. Set data directory looks good. Wait till you get looks good in green and then select okay. Now double click the AFT Dragonborn patch. Click the drop down to select AFT Dragonborn patch, but let's fully title this as we did the previous ESP Amazing Follower Tweaks Dragonborn patch. And this one's gonna be number 150. Oh my goodness, guys, 150 mods. We are moving up. Right click the data directory to set it and get the green looks good, no problem detected. It says if you hover over that and click OK. Now double click Relationship Dialog Overhaul, R-D-O-S-E, and let's name this one 151 and hit OK. Now let's double click the Relationship Dialog Overhaul Patches Final. I realize there is a Relationship Dialog Overhaul Amazing Follower Tweaks patch, but let's do that second and do this main RDO patches first. Click the drop down to select RDO Patches Final. Actually. Select RDO, CRF, and USEP patches final because that is what this does precisely. And you know I like to do, as I like to do, let's rename this relationship. Whoops, I can't spell. Relationship, ah my goodness. <laughs> relationship dialogue overhaul. And 152, 152, and hit OK. Now we have our cutting room floor and unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. Now let's double click the RDO AFT patch. Click the drop down to select RDO AFT and rename this full relationship dialogue overhaul and number it 153. Whoops, not 154, 153 and select OK. Now we have our amazing follower tweaks relationship dialogue overhaul patch. Now find no more glowing weapons, double click, and let's number this one, 154, and hit OK. Now find no spinning death animations, double click, and we're going to number this one, 155, and hit OK. Now we want to double click and install Ordinator Perks of Skyrim, and we will number this one, 156, and hit OK. Now find the one that says perk points at skill level 50, 75, or 100, double click, Click the drop down to select perk points at skill level 50, 75, 100, but then make sure to put ordinator so we know exactly what this is, what this is affecting. Ordinator perk points at skill levels 50, 75, 100, and we will name this one, or number this one rather, 157, space, hit OK. Now find thief skills rebalance for ordinator, double click. Click the drop down to find a name more appropriate since it thinks we're trying to install the perk points thing again. And I want to sort of name this backwards to what it is. I want Ordinator to come first so that it's all in line with the other Ordinator mods. So let's just delete this and name it or Ordinator Thief Skills Rebalance. And I'm going to number this one 158 and hit OK. Now let's install Elemental Staffs Special Edition, and let's number this one 159. Whoops, I put the 159 in the wrong place. It's not gonna help us much now, is it? 159, Elemental Staffs, okay. Now double click Apocalypse V945, and let's expand this. Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim, 
And if I can get my cursor in there in the right place, let's number this one 160, 160 mods, guys. Oh my gosh, we're moving up there, we're getting up there. Okay, now let's double click Apocalypse Ordinator compatibility patch and expand this. Click the drop down, select the appropriate name, and let's call this 161 Apocalypse Ordinator compatibility patch. Select OK. Now let's install Ethereal Veins Magic Enhancements, and we'll call this one 162. Whoops, that's 52, I meant to do 62. And let's do the full version with all of the plugins, Conjuration Illusion and Restoration, and hit Next. And let's leave Enhanced Staves and Attuned Scrolls selected and hit Next. Now this next page is wanting us to install patches for mods called Path of Sorcery and Forever Corpse. We are not going to be installing that mod, or either of those mods, so we need to hit None on each of these and select install. Now let's install Calling of the Conjurer and let's do the full version but leave the optional unlimited summons unticked because it is um, changing a, a perk. And since we're using Ordinator, we don't want anything that messes with perks. And let's number this one 163 and select install. All right, now find Elemental Destruction Magic, double click, and we're going to number this one 164 if I can get my cursor in the right spot 164 space elemental destruction magic now we're going to install the elemental destruction magic ordinator patch double click and number this one 165 and select ok now we're going to skip the immersive performance for ordinator i'll tell you why in a moment so find skyrim new master spells and double click number this one 160 whoops 166 and hit ok now find Shadow Spell Package and double click. And we'll number this one 167 and select OK. Now skip Summer Mist for now and find the Elder Scrolls Tomes and double click. And let's number this one 168. Now find Fendrix Magic Evolved and double click. And let's call this one 169 Fendrix Magic Evolved. And select OK. Now find Witch Hunter Spell and Prayers and double click and number this one 170 and hit OK. Now find Forgotten Magic Redone and double click and number this one 171 and hit OK. Now find Psychokinesis Spell and double click. Number this one 172 and hit OK. Now find Slow and Freeze Time Spells and double click. We're going to number this one 173 and select OK. All right, now before we move on, because this is only going to get more complicated from here on out, let's do some merging. So let's first go and get book covers Skyrim so that we can go ahead and merge all of the Better Quest Objectives patches. But we're not going to be able to do that until we have this master book covers Skyrim installed and enabled or or xedit will throw up some warnings and not let us do that. So I had not originally intended to put book covers Skyrim in the mod list in the video description, but now I'm going to put it in there. So let's go ahead and get, I like the desaturated version. If you guys want a little more colorful version, you can get the original. I find that the desaturated tends to match the rest of the world better. And also once we get an ENB and stuff on, it'll probably be a little less desaturated anyways. Um, but yeah, let's download this. Okay, so while we're waiting for book covers of Skyrim to download, we are going to merge some spell mods. Now, Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim, Calling of the Conjurer, and Fendrix Magic Evolved all have errors in SSE Edit, and Forgotten Magic Redone and Shadow Spell Package both have scripts. I really don't want to merge things with scripts. Oh, and then Elemental Destruction has an error in SSE Edit as well. Um, I'd really like to condense all of these into one, so I will probably actually eventually try to sort those errors so that I can merge them as well, but that's probably going to take me days to figure out, and if and when that happens, I will update you guys on how to do so, but for now, I just want to leave anything with errors out of our merge. Um, now, we could merge Elemental Destruction in with these spell packages, and then just redirect the Elemental Destruction Ordinator patch to have our new merge as a master rather than an Elemental Destruction. But El Elemental Destruction just gave me an error as well. So I'm only going to merge these, what is it, uh, 10, 10 ESPs, Elemental Staffs, all four of the Ethereal Veins, 
new Skyrim Master Spells, the Elder Scrolls Tomes Skyrim Magic Add-on, Witch Hunter Pack, Psychokinesis Spell, and Slow and Freeze Time Spells. So load up SSE Edit, right click and select None. Now let's tick Slow and Freeze Time Spells, Psychokinesis Spells, Witch Hunter Pack, the Elder Scrolls Tomes, new Skyrim Master Spells, all four of the Ethereal Veins ESPs, and Elemental Staffs, and select OK. Once the background loader has finished, left click and drag a box over everything from Elemental Staffs to Slow and Freeze Time Spells. There should be 10 ESPs in total. Yours might not necessarily be in this order, but make sure that you have Elemental Staffs, Ethereal Veins Full, Ethereal Veins Reanimation, Ethereal Veins Scrolls Add-on, Ethereal Veins Staff, New Skyrim Master Spells, The Elder Scrolls Tomes, Witch Hunter Pack, Psychokinesis Spell, and Slow and Freeze Time Spells, Twin Crows, and right click once you've got them all selected and select check for errors. You should have no errors reported and get a message back all done. Now right click and select apply script. Select merge plugins v1.9 and select OK. Make sure only the ESPs that you want to be selected are selected. Do not select Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim, it does have an error. Make sure only those 10 files are selected and click OK. Now we're going to create a new file, select OK, and let's call this spell mods merged and click OK. Once it has finished, it's tabbed me out back to Mod Organizer, so I just need to go back in. And here is our new ESP at the bottom on the left-hand side. I'm going to right-click and select Check for Errors. We've got no errors, and I'm going to close SSE Edit, but make sure that nothing is selected except for our new Spell Mods Merged.esp. So right-click, select None, and just tick the spell mods merged.esp checkbox and select OK. Now right click the overwrite bar and select create mod. And let's call this spell mods merged and click OK. Now tick the checkbox. Now we should have a new spell mods merged.esp that when you hover over it shows in the description all of the ESPs that we have merged into one. Now we can go into each of these mods one at a time and go into optional ESPs and move the available ESP to optional and select close. We will do this with slow and freeze time spells, the psychokinesis spell, so move psychokinesis spell ESP up into optional and close. We will also do this with Witch Hunter Spells and Prayers Pack. Find the optional ESPs and move Witch Hunter Pack.esp to the optional ESPs and close. We will also do this with the Elder Scrolls Tomes, going into the Elder Scrolls Tomes, finding the optional ESP and moving it from available ESPs to optional ESP and closing. And Skyrim New Master Spells, double click, optional ESPs, find new Skyrim Master Spells.esp and move it to optional ESPs and close. Now go into Ethereal Veins Magic Enhancements, double click. And under optional ESPs, move full, reanimation, scrolls, and staff all to optional ESPs and close. Now find elemental staffs SE and double click and click on optional ESPs tab and move the elemental staffs.esp from available ESPs to optional ESPs and close. Now let's number our spell mods merged to 174. Now you'll notice a few of these are grayed out and Mod Organizer is basically telling us that nothing remains within these folders. There are no assets, there are no ESPs, there is no reason to have these installed. And we could actually tick these, untick them, um, but we do want to leave them over here so that we can at least remember in what order to reinstall these. If we have any problems or our spell mods merged ESP does not work, properly, it will be good to have these over here at least so that we can reinstall them and know in what order to do so, but we can at least detick them for now. Now I want to merge the Better Quest Objectives patches, but you'll see here one of them requires Book Covers Skyrim, so let's see if that download has finished. Indeed it has, let's double click that and number this one, 175, and hit OK. Now let's tick the checkbox to make sure it's in our load order and go over here to plugins. And we can now go ahead and sort with loot. 
Now, if you hover over the Better Quest Objectives Book Covers Skyrim patch, you will see that the Book Covers Skyrim.esp master is enabled, and we've got no more warning flag in the flags column. Now let's load up SSE Edit. Right click in the window and select None, and then under the search bar, type Better Quest Obj, or just Better Quest even would do it, should do the trick and then find all of the Better Quest Objective patches. You don't need to select the main Better Quest Objectives ESP as it will automatically load that, being that it's a master. So just find all of the patches and tick them off. And here's one all the way down at the bottom, alternate start patch. And if you'll note that if we're going to merge these all into one and loot wants to put Better Quest Objectives alternate start patch toward the very bottom, we will probably want to put this merged Better Quest Objectives patch very close to the bottom too, um, near RDO and the rest. There is also a way to lock certain items in your load order in loot so that it sorts it a certain way every time, and we can do that as well. So once you've got the checkboxes next to all of the Better Quest Objectives patches selected and ticked off, select OK. Once the background loader has finished, you will want to select and you'll have to skip a few files in between. You'll notice that it's sorted this in such a way that alternate start live another life comes right before its patch and the Parthenax dilemma comes right before its patch. And so you will have to skip a couple files there and just select the patches. So select those five patches, right click and select check for errors. You should have no errors reported and SSE edit should report back all done. Now right click and select apply script. Merge plugins v1.9, select OK. Making sure that only the patches are checked off in the checkboxes, select OK. Now let's create a new file, click OK. And let's call this one better quest objectives patches merged and select OK. Once SSE edit, in my case, kicks me back to mod organizer, I know that it's done. Now let's right click our new Better Quest Objectives patches merged and select check for errors. We've got no errors, so let's close X edit and make sure only Better Quest Objectives patches merged.esp is ticked off and select OK. Now right click the overwrite bar, select create mod and call this better quest objectives patches merged and select OK. Let's call this one 176 and tick the checkbox to activate the file. Now you can see if you hover over our better quest objectives patches merged ESP that under the description we see the merged plugins BCS patch, CRF patch, DB forever to misc, par dilemma patch, and alternate start patch. This means we can disable all of these ESPs, and one easy way to do this is to click the ESP and it will highlight the mod from which it comes in the left hand pane under the mod name column. In this case, it's easy because our better quest objectives and all of its patches all originate from even better quest objectives number 146. Sometimes you'll be chasing little patches down all over this area, but in this case, it's going to be pretty easy. So all we need to do is double click even better quest objectives, go to optional ESPs, move the BCS, the alternate start patch, the CRF patch, the DB forever to misc patch and par dilemma patch all to optional ESPs and close. Now let's let loot sort it and remembering that we do want this near the bottom of our load order, let's see what loot does with it. So select loot from the executables drop down and click run. Now let's select sort plugins. Now you'll notice in the top, we will see that there are two errors. So if we scroll down, we can see what those errors are. And those errors are that the relationship dialogue overhaul cutting room floor and unofficial Skyrim special edition patch is incompatible with the relationship, di relationship dialogue overhaul unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. 
and that the Relationship Dialogue Overhaul Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch is incompatible with the Relationship Dialogue Overhaul Cutting Room Floor and Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. So it only needs one, but both are present. And obviously we want the one that has both the Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch and Cutting Room Floor patch. So let's close loot. Now I'm glad Loot pointed this out because I hadn't actually taken the time yet to go over these relationship dialogue overhaul patches, and it's also nice that we only need one of these that covers both Cutting Room Floor and Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, so that we have one less mod in our load order. So let's just untick that, since we only need the Cutting Room Floor plus Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. This patch covers both of those. And if you click this, you can see that it's just coming from the Relationship Dialogue Overhaul, CRF, and USSEP patches final. So all we have to do is double click this, and just like usual, we're going to find the one that's just the USEP patch, not the Cutting Room Floor and USEP patch. We want that one to remain. But the one that just says RDO, USSEP patch, we're going to move into Optional ESPs and Close. That will get rid of it over here. Now let's download the Opulent Thieves Guilds mod, just the top file from the link provided below. Once it has finished downloading, double click to install and let's call this one 177 Opulent Thieves Guild and select OK. Alright, now that we've installed the Opulent Thieves Guild, we can finally enable the Ethereal Elven Overhaul Opulent Thieves Guild patch. Now go into your downloads and find a mod that says 60 FPS version of all in one and double click. This one is the clean menu with no Bethesda logo and smoke and intro, optional no sneak eye. <laughs> and let's just change this to clean menu all in one to make the mod description a little cleaner to reflect the purpose of the mod and call it 178 and okay. All right, moving on from where we were, let's install visual animated enchants or VAE and put this one at 180, 180 mods, guys. Good job. Now double click invisibility, and we're going to number this one 181, and select OK. Now double click better master spells, and we'll call this one 182, and select OK. Now double click visual master spells, and renumber this one 183, and select OK. Now you'll notice here in Visual Animated Enchants, or VAE, we've got it overwriting a couple of things, and we need to go in there and find out exactly what. Okay, so it looks like it's over overwriting a vapor file from Realistic Water 2, and a couple of Magic Wisps and Dark Swirls from Ultimate HD Fire Effects Ultra version. Now if I had to guess, I would say the Realistic Water 2 and Ultimate HD Fire Effects versions of these textures are superior. So I'm going to right click and hide these files, letting Ultimate HD Fire Effects and Realistic Water 2 take precedence. And if it looks weird, we can go back and let those overwrite and unhide them. That's why it's good to hide instead of delete oftentimes. Now moving on, let's double click Elemental Arrows and number this one at 184 and select OK. Now double click Wards Act Like Shields and number this one 185 and select OK. Now double click Immersive Citizens AI Overhaul Special Edition. Let's renumber this one 186 and we need the patch for ELFX Enhancer.esp and nothing else and select Install. Tick the checkbox to activate, then go over to the plugins and just deselect the Immersive Citizens ELFX Enhancer patch for now, since we do not have a master upon which it depends. Now it's time to install Moro Loot Ultimate. And if you'll recall, this one has got a ton of patches to get it to work right, so we might want to pay particularly close attention here to what we're doing and the patches we're using and in what order they are loading and whether or not we have all the masters upon which they depend, etc., etc., and whether or not we have all the patches we need. So let's call this one 187, and let's tick the checkbox to activate more loot ultimate. 
Now there are several patches for mods which we do not yet have. Ars Metallica we have not yet installed, Improved Close Faced Helms we have not yet installed, Indigo we have not yet installed, Insanity Sorrows weapons we have not yet installed, and even when we do we'll be merging that into a grand weapons pack and have to change the masters on this to point to that instead of Insanity Sorrow. We do not yet have Lore Weapon Expansion, that's another one that we'll have to point to our eventual merged weapons patch. Uh, we have Summer Mist, although I don't know if we installed that one yet. I don't think we did. We don't have Unique Uniques installed yet. We don't have Zim's Immersive Artifacts installed yet. We do have Wicco installed. And here are our Ars Metallica and Improved Closed Face Helms. So let's go ahead and install Ars Metallica. And actually, let's make this one 187. And let's just pretend I have not installed Moro Loot yet. So let's deactivate Mora Loot just momentarily and install Ars Metallica and Improved Closed Faced Helms. And we'll make Improved Closed Faced Helms 188 and select OK. Move it above Mora Loot. Now let's install Mora Loot, but let's change it to 189 now and tick the checkbox to activate. And now let's install our Ars Metallica patch 190. Ars Metallica patch and select OK. Now double click the MLU Improved Close Faced Helms patch and let's retitle this one Mora Loot Ultimate Improved Close Faced Helms uh, Helmets uh, 191 and patch. I'll put patch at the end of that as if I don't know, but whatever. And select OK. Tick the checkbox. Let's go ahead and install Summer Mist, Enchantments of Skyrim at 192 and select OK. Let's go ahead and install Simple Auto Unequip Ammo at 193 and Violins, a kill move mod, at 194, select OK. And Weightless at 195. And on the first screen, select Legacy Merged Reduced Weight and none of the other options and click Next. Now click Install. Now that we've got Summer Mist installed, double click our MLU Summer Mist Enchantments patch. And let's rename this to 196 Moro Loot Summer Mist patch and select OK. Now double click the MLU Wicco patch. Click the drop down menu and let's select MLU Wicco and I'm going to name this patch at the end and rename this Moro Loot Wicco Patch and 197 and select OK. Now let's double click Immersive Sounds Compendium. Let's install this at 198. Now we're going to have a bunch of different options when we hit next and if you want, as it says here, you can compare a bunch of the different sound options available by going to this YouTube link. Now I suggest you actually go to this YouTube link and listen to the sounds. I can paste the link in the video description below if this is too hard for you to see and you don't want to have to type this out. Um, but I would suggest you go and listen to the different options available because you might not like what I like. This is all going to be a very subjective taste based thing. I'm going to select extra bloody plus instant impacts on the weapon impact options. This just doesn't have a wind up to it when you swing and hit. The weapon draw sheath options, I want smooth equip, and I'm going to hit next. For the bow shot options, I would like to do realistic and no twang. And for the arrow impact options, I want less intense, and I'm going to hit next. On the bonus weaponry options page, I'm going to select smooth weapon swings, which gets rid of the metallic sort of elements on top of the weapon swing sounds, as it says here. And then the silent arrow projectile loop. I do not want an arrow projectile loop. And then I have considered doing the extra gory kill move sounds, which makes the melee sounds during kill move sequences sound more brutal. But I think they already sound pretty brutal as is. I'm tempted to try that though. I wish that was in the YouTube video that they linked to. Let's hit next. On restoration options, I'm going to choose classic RPG and firebolt options alternate and select next. On this screen, I'm going to select demonic draugr and next. 
On Nern Root, I kind of want silent Nern Root just because I, I just, I'm tired of it. But you guys can choose one of the others if you like. I'm going to do more rustling heavy armor and silent sneak attack so that a sound doesn't play when we get an effective critical strike or sneak attack. I'm going to mute the wind sound that normally plays while in the world map. I'm going to mute the strange ambient loop played while the player is killed, ragdolled, or otherwise incapac incapacitated. And I'm going to hit install. Alright, tick the checkbox to activate that one, and now that Immersive Sounds Compendium is installed, we can install our Enhanced Blood Textures Immersive Sounds Compendium patch. And I'll call this 199 and select OK. And our Immersive Sounds Compendium Moro Loot patch. I'm going to call this Immersive Sounds Compendium Moro Loot patch and 200 200 mods we are getting up there guys select ok now let's install frostfall at number 201 select ok and let's install campfire at 202 and select ok now let's install smilodon combat of skyrim at 203, and if you guys are wondering about the difference between Wildcat and Smilodon or Smilodon or Smilodon or however you say this, this is actually the author of Wildcat's newer, more updated version of Wildcat that he believes is a better mod, and I read a bit about the two, and I can't for the life of me remember the differences now, but I did decide on this one as being the better of the two. So, but you guys might want to go read about the two different ones and see what you think. Now activate that, and let's install our realistic damage Smilodon optional, Smilodon, Smilodon, I don't know, I don't know how you say that, 204, actually let's, uh, Smilodon realistic damage, 204, there we go, and select OK. Some of you guys might not like this, I would say... Um, if you want a more RPG-like feel where you actually have more time to think about stuff and um, it's a little slower paced and the enemies are more like damage sponges, um, do not install this optional component. But if you want the combat to be quick and brutal so that just a couple of hits and you could be dead, and the same for your enemies, um, well, the weaker enemies anyways, then I would install that. But I know I like it, and it basically does exactly what a mod I used to install called Skills-Based Damage and Magnitude Multiplier did. Um, and I've already tried it, and I really, really like it. Um, if you guys aren't looking for a really brutal experience, you might just leave that option unticked. But if you're looking for the modded to hell experience, you're going to go ahead and add the realistic damage component. Now let's click I Need. And number this one 205. Now on this first screen we're going to leave full enabled and take the compatibility patches for both Nordic Snow and Noble Skyrim mod and select install. Now let's install Frozen Electrocuted Combustion at 206 and select OK. Now let's double click Arrows and Bolts Tweaks Special Edition. Let's get rid of this thing at the beginning since it's just an abbreviation for what is to come anyways, and call this one 207, Arrows and Bolts Tweaks Special Edition. Actually, let's just make this SE to shorten it a bit for brevity's sake. Select Next. On this option screen, I recommend doing Kevka's All-in-One, simply because he gives you only one ESP based on the way he plays the game, and he says it's a good way to start out if you don't know what to choose. And this, if you go to Customize, there are so many options that it gets a little ridiculous. Um, you might want to do this. I mean, if you want to go through and read all this and decide what you want, but I just recommend the Kevka's all in one. Let's hit next and it will actually tell you what it's done. So progressive damage, renamed arrows, no increased damage, renamed bolts, faster arrows, faster bolts, recover ammo chance decreased, reduces amount of arrows found in loot, merchants arrows reduced, and deeper bolt impacts. Now, if I were going to do this, if I were going to go through and customize this, I would probably make the bolts and arrows have slightly increased damage 
but I'm going to test it out for a while with the mods I have installed and see how they all play together first before I go mucking about in here and I can always come back and change this. So let's hit next and install. Now finally, let's download Immersive Patrols and install Immersive Patrols at number 208 and install Populated Skyrim Special Edition, Hell Edition at number 209 and select OK. Now go to the Nexus and find the RS Children Populated Skyrim Hell Edition patch and download. Tick Populated Skyrim Hell Edition to activate it and then double click the RS Children Populated Skyrim Hell Edition patch and let's put this one at 210 and select OK. Now let's right click and select Remove Installed. Now you'll notice that aside from our Moro Loot Ultimate patches for mods that we have not yet installed, I've also got a few other things, Immersive Performance for Ordinator, Warzone Civil Unrest, a high poly project, a dragon animation replacer. These are all things that we are probably going to install in time. This one I'm going to test in my own time and make sure that it's compatible with immersive creatures and immersive patrols and populated Skyrim and all of that without too many issues because I have, I know that the old versions of war zones have been known to have some problems in the past. So this is something I'm going to test in my own time before I um, suggest that you all install it. Most of these we will be installing at a certain point though, in due time. For now, let's go to the plugins. We've just installed a lot of things to so scroll through. Make sure we don't have any ESPs with red flags. And we can finally now activate the Realistic Water 2 I Need patch and the Immersive Winches Immersive Citizens AI Overhaul patch. Now select Loot from the Executables dropdown and run it. Once you've sorted your load order, it's time to go in and test the game and make sure it doesn't explode. We just installed a lot of things. So as you can see, the menu is much cleaner now. We don't have to sit through the Bethesda logo and we've just got these few simple options. Now let's load our classic tester character here in Riverwood and see what happens. See here, a bunch of things are initializing. Let's see what it says. Dark Arts Tomes Distributed. There was EBT initialized, I'm assuming that's Enhanced Blood Textures, then Upgrading Shadow Spell Package. Please wait. Let's just go into the console and without knowing the IDs of these things, which it probably would be helpful to look up these spells and search a bunch of them. Hey, look at that. Shadow spells, staves, and scrolls have been added to the leveled lists. Apocalypse items added to the world. You may need to wait a few days for the leveled lists to refresh. Refresh. Let's um, try to find one of the time spells. So there's a bunch of slow time spells. Let's go up to books. Spell Tome, Time, Slow, Slow, Greater, Accelerate, Future, Dimensional Rift, Stutter, Master. Oh, these these should be fun. Player dot add item. Three B zero zero one oh three B one. Items spell tome slow greater. New spell learned, time slow, greater. Okay, let's try this. Oh, and there's amazing follower tweaks being initialized now. Um, I can't wait to get these ugly animations out and get better animations in. Ah, uh, that will be soon enough. Soon enough, Aaron. Soon enough. Okay, let's try this slow time spell. Oh, I don't have, I don't, I'm not skilled enough. I'm just going to, I'll put God mode on and then I should be able to do it. Okay. Now's my chance. Now's my chance to destroy all of Riverwood once and for all. Starting with you, Alvor. You can't really, you can't really get a whole lot done. I mean, it slows you down a little bit too. That's probably good. You wouldn't want it to be too OP. Um, that's pretty cool though. Okay, what are some of the other spells I'm looking for? So there's time, and there's like shadow spells. And it looks like we've got a bunch of shadow spells. Let's see what shadow form does. 5B01, D013, 
Spell Tome Shadow Form added. I'll just favorite that. And... Ooh. But what does it do exactly? It reduces all incom incoming damage by 20% and you are 20% harder to detect. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Shadow spells heal you for a portion of damage dealt, but restoration spells cost 75% more magicka to cast. Drains 80% of magicka when cast. Next cast dispels the shadow form. Look at my beard in shadow form. It's like glowing. And my guy is all kinds of unhappy. So um, I, I guess I'll, I'll probably just go into those mods so that I can actually call a bunch of those up. But if you guys haven't done it yet, I would go ahead and conjure up some... Minotaurs three zero seven two five. Let's place thirty of these bad boys. In there. <laughs> oh my god. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, thank God I'm in God mode right now. <laughs> there we go. It's on. A war between the Harvesters and the Minotaurs. Will the Minotaur Gladiators hold up? 